All right, let's continue on with our election judge equipment orientation. As I mentioned in the previous video, we're going to walk you through a couple of more videos here on just orientating you to the equipment that you'll be using in the polling place. Then there'll be another series of videos that will actually walk you through how to use it to assist voters or help them check in or help them tabulate their ballots after they're done voting. So I'm going to switch over to the slides right now. And as we continue here, the, orient the orientation videos are going to follow the same pro format where we're going to introduce you to the piece of equipment. We're going to talk about how to set it up, how to tear it down, talk about any specific um, pieces of equipment that gets tied into that, that technology, and then we'll cover some common issues or questions that you might face on Election Day. So let's start with the DS200. This is our ballot tabulator. Um, for our returning judges, it replaces what was called the M100, but think about it as your scanner or the piece of equipment that counts the votes after voters have filled in the ovals on their ballots on Election Day. Uh, it is going to be used in all of our precincts and it is manufactured by a company called Election Systems and Software. The unit is specific to the precinct, so it will be labeled, and we want to make sure as part of our opening procedures, the checklist will include this, but make sure that you're paying attention when you open the polling place that you have the right precinct tabulator in your polling place or in your precinct. We also have to remember that we need a six-foot buffer around our ballot tabulator so that the voter can feed their ballot into the machine in private. So what's new for this equipment? Uh, it is a full color display as you can see on the screen that's going to make it very easy for our voters to see if their ballot has been accepted or if there's any issues with it. You'll also notice that it's now a black plastic ballot bin instead of the old gray metal ones. Uh, we also have the capability to capture the write-in images. We'll use that for the general election when we actually might have write-ins to count. And that's going to make your end of election night significantly easier and shorter. It's going to be great once we talk about that more um, in our trainings and our judges can help explain that during the November election. Uh, we also want to point out uh, that the startup and the close procedures are much easier on the DS200, um, especially the way that we're delivering the equipment to the polling place. What stays the same? Well, we still have the emergency slot in case the tabulator stops working during election day. We still have an audit trail that tracks whatever activity is occurring on the machine. The machine is never connected to the internet, has a battery backup, and it does continue to keep a running tally of ballots cast in the polling place. So good features like that, uh, just like our previous device. So here's how you set up the DS200. Uh, first off, these are high-level basic summary steps. We want you to follow the instructions that will be provided to the head judges, provided to all election judges on election day, and they'll actually be attached to the side of the machine. Uh, we always need to make sure that the DS200 is plugged in and ready to roll at 7 in the morning. If there are any problems with it, we need a phone call immediately. Essentially, you're going to unwind the power cord, plug that into an outlet, we're going to flip up the display module, and if, if we've plugged it in and done that correctly and we flip this up, uh, it will automatically power on. When it powers on, we're going to open the polls. Again, remember, follow the steps that are provided there. A couple other uh, wrinkles that are very, very important to make sure we hit is that there's this metal bar. This metal bar here needs to be raised and locked onto these latches. That opens up the ballot path. If you do not do that, ballots will not be able to run through the machine and, and drop into the secure uh, storage area. So that's a very important step for that. Once the, um, once the DS200 is turned on and activated, you should see a public count for that day's election activities equal to zero. End of night, once we hit 8 o'clock at night and we've helped every voter who is in line at 8 o'clock at night, uh, vote and they feed their ballot into the ballot tabulator, we're going to start closing down the equipment. Again, follow the instructions that are provided. Uh, we want to make sure we go step by step in those instructions so that we close the machine correctly. After that last voter has voted, we're going to check that auxiliary slot to see if there are any ballots that need to be fed through the machine. We want to make sure that every ballot has been tabulated by the machine before we close it down. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the key that the head judge has which will open the access door, and inside that access door, the uh, election judges can push close polls. Once that close polls button has been pushed, you're going to get a screen prompt that says, do you want to close the polls? And we're going to say yes. The reports will run as needed when you close the polls, and we're going to use that as part of our end of night uh, summary and auditing that our election judges will do. Remember to lower that metal bar in the back, 
uh, you're going to need to do that in order to actually um, close the ballot box so that nobody could try to feed ballots in there. And then what we are going to remind you, and it's very, very important, is that the thumb drive, this little guy here, this thumb drive has the data for the election that you'll be returning on election night, but we make sure that we never remove that until our paper instructions tell us to do so. That is going to be one of the very last things you do before you close up uh, the tabulator at end of night. So follow the instructions very carefully for when to remove that. Also, friendly reminder that when we're working with the tabulator, we always have two election judges involved uh, to make sure that uh, we have party balance there. Some common troubleshooting questions for you to be aware of. Uh, if the Omni ballot won't accept a ballot, I'm sorry, it's not the Omni ballot, if the DS200 won't accept a ballot, the primary reason for that is that that metal bar that I've been talking about uh, in the back of the unit is not up and locked into place. Uh, make sure that that is checked before uh, you get too worried about ballots not being accepted. If they still won't be accepted, then we're going to look at the screen to help us understand um, the errors that are being presented and call the county office to help out. How do you keep the DS200 sanitized? Again, use only the provided alcohol wipes on the screen. Some of the plastic surfaces can be cleaned with a disinfectant spray, but we're going to be very, very careful with that. Um, I mentioned earlier that when you flip up the screen on the DS200, it should automatically power up. If that doesn't happen, you most likely don't have the DS200 actually plugged in. So make sure it's plugged in, make sure that the outlet you're plugging into works, make sure the surge protector is on, because the machine should automatically power up. And then sometimes we've had people wonder how they can check throughout the day if the DS200 is plugged in because remember we want to leave it plugged in. The way that you check if it's plugged in is you can look on the screen and there should be an icon uh, that shows that the power is plugged in and the battery is charging. You can also more easily see on the waiting screen as the machine is waiting for somebody to feed a ballot, there's an animated ballot that is flying into the tabulator. If that ballot isn't moving, that means you're not plugged in. So those are a couple of ways to check that. And with that, I'm going to leave you with our usual contact information. As I said, on Election Day, if we have any problems with the machine, you're going to call us immediately. We're going to help troubleshoot that. But if you have any questions in advance, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. All right, that is the DS200 tabulator that you'll be using on Election Day. We're going to move into the poll pad next.